Muslims around the world are celebrating Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of the holy month of Ramadan. And we've invited guest foodie Nazira Musa to prepare a feast for the occasion. Josie-based chef Nazira Musa describes herself as a concocter of food, but that's a very modest description of someone who has enjoyed equal success as a business executive and in her culinary and catering career. You have to be very brave to take the leap from corporate stability to follow your dreams. And today's guest has mustered up the courage and it's resulted in a delightfully delicious career. Nazira Musa has turned her love for cooking into something we can all enjoy today. Very good, thanks. These are for you. Oh, they're beautiful. Come on. Welcome to my kitchen, Kriya. Thank you so much. What are we doing today? It looks amazing. It's Eid, so we've got to celebrate. Kriya, I've put one chicken and I've cut them into little pieces, if you can see. And it's all on the bone? Absolutely. You need the bone. Yes. The bone gives you flavour. First thing I'm going to do is add salt to the chicken. It's very important to do that. And then I'm going to put some of the turmeric. Turmeric gives in some lovely, lovely colour. We're going to add in some chilli flakes, and these are sizzling hot chilli flakes. Now I have some crushed cumin and coriander, and then obviously some of these beautiful cardamom pods. So this is my favourite spice, cumin, and I have roasted it slightly. Just a teaspoon and a half. And yes, we're all done with the spices now. This is fresh garlic that's been pressed out and some fresh ginger and just about a teaspoon and a half and now some tomatoes and i've just got a cup of that i've grated them and yogurt full cream yogurt i think this is what differentiates biryani from everything else so we need two tablespoons of these and then some fried onions i've pre-fried it so it's so much simpler of course some green chilies they're whole i haven't slit them and lastly, I'd like to add some fresh coriander and it really adds a lot of colour and of course it adds a lot of flavour. Lastly, I just want to add some lemon juice. Alright, so wooden spoon and give it a mix. Actually, I think I'm going to use my hands. <laughs> so yes, here it goes. So how long would you marinate it for? Look, two to three hours. I would actually prefer to be done overnight. It assists in putting some flavour into the chicken. The chicken is done, it's all spiced. We're going to put it into the fridge, let it marinate, and then we're going to layer a bit later. It's time to layer. All right, so you want a deepish pot because you have layers and obviously you need to accommodate all of that. And a pot that's gonna fit into your oven. That's a good point. That's an exceptionally good point. All right, so let's start. We're going to add some of this. Do you know what this is? It's ghee. Absolutely, clarified butter. The next thing that I would add in is some biryani spice. We're going to line the pot with some brown lentils. It's also called masoor, and I have pre-boiled it with some turmeric and some salt. I'm going to also line the pot with a little bit of rice. It's just so that we're protecting the chicken and, and the yes. rest of the ingredients no, from burning. So, yeah. So just a little. And now we're going to add in the chicken. It's all in here. You need to layer it a little bit nicely, yes. Because you want to cook it evenly. We're going to add the potatoes. I have pre-fried the potatoes. I've used baby potatoes. So it kind of cooks a little faster, but it also looks nicer. Potatoes are my favorite part of a biryani. Mine too. But there's some places in the world where biryani is made without potatoes. I'm now going to add in some peas. You don't necessarily have to add peas, but I like doing it. It gives a bit of color to the biryani and a little bit of a twist. Now we're going to put in the masoor, which is the lentils. So let's layer the rice evenly. Let's put the other bit of rice. Okay, so that looks nice and even. So now we're going to put our final touches, Kriya. Would you like to add some? Oh, yes, please. I'd love to. We're putting in the saffron. It's a teaspoon and I've steeped it in two tablespoons of boiling water. That adds lots of fragrance and of course it adds to the richness of the food. I'm just going to top it with a little bit of onion, the fried onion that I've done before. The way we're going to prepare the biryani is we're going to steam it for a little while on the stove, say about 15 minutes, and then we're going to put it into the oven so that it can kind of cook evenly. So Kriya, 15 minutes on the stove, it's done. Let's take a peek. Oh wow. Oh, it smells so good. It does, even if I may say so. It smells like my mother's biryani. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the oven, and we're going to put it in for an hour. Kriya, now that the biryani is in the oven, I think we should head on and 
begin the milk. It's my favorite part because it's so tasty. No, absolutely. It's called Eve milk and people all around the world celebrate uh, the breaking of fast in terms of the end of Ramadan with Eve milk. And what better way to start something by having something sweet. Okay, let's get started. Gas on, heat, just a little bit of butter. Okay. Perhaps a tablespoon. All right, we're going to let that melt. I'm going to put some vermicelli. I've cut the vermicelli into smaller okay. pieces. I'm going to add the ilachi or the cardamom, putting in a half a teaspoon. Okay. And I'm going to add in a little cinnamon stick. I'm going to add in some water because we have to cook the semolina. Okay. Well, the vermicelli definitely looks like it's starting to cook. All right, so then we're going to add in some milk. The main ingredient. The main in, ingredient. Eat yes. milk. Absolutely. Would be milk. <laughs> so we've got a liter of milk. Okay. And I'm still mixing. Just stirring. To sweeten, I'm going to put condensed milk. Oh, it's good old condensed milk. Yeah. It's really a beautiful way to sweeten. Here's some rose water, and I'm going to just add once again. So that's just full of a bit of flavoring. Yeah. Just. Of course, I put in some coconut milk. So gives it a different kind of flavor. And now all I need to do is add some almonds. I've crushed the almonds. That's about two teaspoons. Two teaspoons <laughs> is the way to go. I'm going to put some pistachios. Uh, here, I think just a teaspoon will do. And we're almost done. You grew up celebrating Eid. What was your favorite part of Eid? It's the sense of camaraderie. It's the sense of love. And, you know, we exchange lots of gifts on this day. It's just such a special day. Kriya, that is great. You've done such a wonderful job. We've achieved the consistency that we want. And I think what we're going to do is let it cool down. And then I'm going to decant it into something rather special. And now the biryani is done. I've taken it out of the oven. Mmm, smells good. Let's do some dessert, which is soji or semolina. Let's add in some of your favorite ingredient. Ghee or clarified butter. butter. You need about four tablespoons of that. Let's add in the semolina. You want to put in a half a cup and then you let it cook through. So basically what we're doing is we're sauteing or braising. I want to just add some alachi to that. Just a sprinkle. You don't want to get it very brown. Really, I, I kind of like it a pale color. We've got two eggs, which I've beaten up. You can pour it into the milk. Into the milk. A half a cup of sugar. Two tablespoons of ground almonds. I'm going to do this for oh, you. Okay. I think if we can just give it a give stir. It. Yeah. Please just make sure that the sugar granules kind of mix. Okay. And it's time to add it to the milk. Okay. Is that enough? Uh, let me have a look. The trick to making semolina or soji is to ensure that you, you mix quite thoroughly and quite quickly. I'm going to move this because okay. it's done. You don't want to overdo it. Why don't we plate this? Sounds great. All right. So, can you see how soft the soji is? It smells mm. amazing. I cannot wait to oh. try it. I'm going to add cream. Let us just make up some beautiful pistachios. We need to have some yogurt to go with it. So we've got double cream yogurt, and I'm going to add pomegranate seeds to that. It's something very different. I've never had pomegranates in my writer before. I know, I know. We're just gonna do something different, you know? I think out with the old and in with the new. And the colorful. And color, yes. <laughs> We're going to have biryani with a little bit of a difference. We're going to toast some cashew nuts and some butter. So once I plate it, I'm going to add these toasted cashew nuts and perhaps some onion. Oh, Nazira, this looks amazing. Thank you so much, Kriya. I hope you've had fun today. I really have, and I've learned a lot. And I just want to wish you all the best for you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Shall we? Let's.